with Bess Armstrong and Mark Harmon. The CBS Wednesday night movie at 9, 8 Central and Mountain. Tonight on CBS. The secretary, the heartbeat of the business world. Without one, businesses large and small become chaotic. Ask anyone and they'll tell you a good secretary is hard to find. Thank God for Sawyer. They've earned the reputation they have because of the quality of the secretaries they produce. That's why they have no qualms about offering placement assistance to their graduates. The Sawyer School has published a free booklet they'd like you to have. Call and ask for one. 823-7246. Before you buy new furniture, check Park's money-saving offers this week. First, Park will completely custom remanufacture and reupholster your sofa or two chairs from only $159. Or get a big rebate when you order Park reupholstery in leather-like vinyl. Then take 30, 60, or 90 days to pay with no money down, no interest, and no carrying charges. Lots of ways to save at Park. Call now for a free home appointment. Call Park at 822-3157, 822-3157. WCCO Television, Minneapolis, St. Paul. Good afternoon and welcome to Sitten to Mai. You know that. Very good. Do you remember? And congratulations to all Norwegians in our area. We're going to dip into the history of our, the river history of our Twin Cities a little bit today with Captain Bill Bowl of Jonathan Paddleford and the Josiah Snelling, those ships that kind of take you back, not only take you down the Mississippi and up the Mississippi, but back into history a little bit. We'll be talking to uh, Captain Bill in just a few minutes. Also in our little backyard today, Bill, you and I are going to prepare a little bit of a vegetarian picnic and we're going to use one of my own special recipes to make vegetarian sandwiches and pocket bread. You think the neighbors are going to talk? I hope they talk. I hope they pick <laughs> up the recipe. <laughs> and John is going to join us as well. But first, here he is with the news. Thank you, Cindy. 70 degrees already, and it should be, well, maybe into the upper 70s before the day is through. Bill, of course, with the full forecast later on midday. The mother-in-law of Governor Perpich died in Hibbing today. Anna Simic, mother of Lola Perpich, had suffered a stroke on Tuesday. Anna Simic was a native of Yugoslavia and had lived in Kiwatin, Minnesota for more than half a century. Anna Simic was 84. The body of Charlie Chaplin has been recovered and Swiss police today announced not only the recovery of the late comedian's coffin and body, but police also say that they arrested two men who wanted a cash ransom and who apparently stole the body from Chaplin's grave ten weeks ago. It's not clear what's happening in the Caribbean island nation of the Dominican Republic this midday. The Dominican army denies it's taken over the country, but in a sense it looks that way. The army has stopped a vote count in the presidential election, and the army stepped in after the challenger took a big lead over the incumbent in the Dominican Republic presidential election. In Italy, another of those terror attacks. This time it was a policeman shot and seriously wounded in Turin. And meantime, against the backdrop of terrorism, life goes on, and that includes tourism. Bert Quint reports. Despite the increase in violence, more tourists came last year than in 1976. And the kidnapping and assassination of Aldo Moro brought no mass cancellations for this spring and summer. For Italians and for foreigners, there is a new site for pilgrimages, the street where Moro's body was left by his killers. The Italians come with heavy hearts to leave flowers and to see the wreaths others have sent. The Americans, thinking perhaps of Dallas or Los Angeles or Memphis, where prominent men of their own country were assassinated, stare curiously at a monument to today's Italian tragedy. For the foreigners, perhaps nothing has changed, but for the Italians, there is a difference. You could sense it as they voted in local elections, turning out at the polls in greater numbers than usual, as though to say to the terrorists, your bullets cannot kill our democracy. Their votes favored Moro's Christian Democrat Party, apparently an expression of approval of its refusal to deal with the terrorists. And you can sense the tension in the way policemen stand at so many street corners and in the uneasy feeling you often have now in a country where it always was safe to walk by day or night. By its refusal to free imprisoned terrorists to obtain morals release, Italy did much to do away with its image as an easygoing, irresponsible country, one not to be taken seriously. Italy has gained respect, but it has lost, it seems, some of the joy of living that has been one of its greatest treasures. Bert Quinn, CBS News, Rome. 
Students at a Methodist seminary just outside Chicago are upset about a recent faculty decision to bar gays. The faculty at Garrett Evangelical Sem Sem Seminary says that gays are not fit to be ministers, and so the students are wearing armbands in protest. In San Diego, meantime, the United Presbyterian Church is also discussing the issue, many believing that homosexuality defies the Bible. In politics, a surprise announcement of sorts from Alabama Governor George Wallace last night, who says he will not run for the U.S. Senate. Didn't say why, and in fact his supporters believe that he could have won the seat quite easily, taking the place of retiring Alabama Senator John Sparkman. Two more Minnesota cities have reported outbreaks of German measles. In Caledonia, eight confirmed cases reported by high school officials. In Winona, one confirmed but 18 suspected cases of German measles. These reported among college students. The Winona case Cases involve St. Mary's College, the College of St. Teresa, and Winona State. And German measles, of course, a major crippler of the unborn, but apparently only a minor rash for adults. And that's what's turned up. Looks like some good news for St. Paul. Ford Motor Company says it plans to hire 300 more workers and spend about $23 million at the St. Paul Ford assembly plant. It's part of a changeover. Ford says that from now on, the plant will build only small trucks and will drop its car assembly line. The switch from the passenger cars to the light trucks will be made this summer. Uh, the case of misplaced shots has caused the suspension of two Rice County, Minnesota sheriff's deputies. The deputies were shooting at a suspect who was trying to run away, but the shooting took place in downtown Faribault, right at the uh, height of the rush hour, and one of two shots hit a service station about a block off the city's main business street. Nobody hurt the suspect. Well, he was captured the next day, but the deputies have now wound up with an unscheduled two-week suspension. Handling a weapon is pretty important stuff for members of the White House Honor Guard, though almost always the weapons are just for show. And when Midday returns, we'll visit the Honor Guard, which this week got its first women members. California Freeformer Skateboards at Woolworth. Team up with us for that winning combination. For younger riders, 20-inch Freeformer only $9, and for advanced riders, 24-inch $14. Safety-minded parents can count on Freeformer for rugged polypropylene construction, tough urethane wheels, durable quality hardware and traction deck. It's a short ride from amateur to professional on a California Freeformer. On sale now, 20-inch $9, 24-inch $14 at Woolworth. Wow! Tootsie Rolls! For over 80 years, Tootsie Rolls have delighted children. And for 40 years, Tootsie Pops with a Tootsie Roll Center have brought long-lasting enjoyment. And now there's Tootsie Pop Drops, hard candy drops with a Tootsie Roll Center. Tootsie Rolls, Tootsie Pops, Tootsie Pop Drops. The best way to take your change is the Tootsie way. Mmm, it's from Tootsie Roll. Barbecues around here used to be just eating outdoors until Smokey Bear came along. That's Smokey Bear Charcoal Briquettes, the one that really smokes in that delicious outdoor barbecued taste that you can enjoy in every bite. Mm. And Smokey Bear Charcoal starts faster and lasts longer than any charcoal that I've ever used. And that's a good thing. <laughs> Look who just dropped in. Oh, what does he eat? Anything he wants. <laughs> Hi. Try new Smokey Bear Husky Brand Charcoal Briquettes. <laughs> Call my wife, Harry. Isn't that her? <laughs> Big doings at the White House today, a red carpet reception for a visiting African dignitary, and there will be one important change if you look closely at the honor guard. Ike Pappas explains. Founded nearly two centuries ago on orders from no less than George Washington, only the biggest, bravest, and best male members of the celebrated 3rd U.S. Infantry, the Old Guard, were ever selected to serve on the President's own White House Honor Guard. That fact was pointed out to First Lady Rosalind Carter, and something was done about it fast. Honor Guard! Today, Sergeants Christine Cruz and Margaret Webb are due to make their debut when President Carter greets Zambian President Kenneth Guando at the White House. Week-long rains have forced last-minute drills for the two women onto the covered porches that line the headquarters buildings at Fort Myer, Virginia, across the Potomac from the Capitol. But Sergeant Webb says she's ready. There's only one slight hitch to all of this. The women may have to delay their debut. It may still be raining when the White House ceremonies are due to begin, 
and the especially tailored raincoats the honor guard ordered for the women haven't arrived yet. So if the commander orders raincoats as part of the uniform of the day, the women may have to drop out. But if Margaret Webb makes it, she has only one wish. I don't, I don't mind being the first woman on the White House lawn, but I don't want to be the first woman to faint on the White House lawn. Mike Pappas, CBS News, Washington. The combat boots I found most noticeable there. Yes. Pretty ladies in combat boots. We have gorgeous weather for our picnic in just a few moments. Sure. Huh? Fair skies, warmer temperatures for this afternoon. The highs are expected to be in the middle to upper 70s. The overnight lows in the low 50s. Tomorrow's pretty much the same as today in terms of highs. And uh, the winds will be light and southeasterly. Right now they're at 8 miles per hour. The barometer's falling. The temperature's at 70. Humidity 55. And what a day. All right. Wall Street is up. Dow Jones Industrials uh, show a gain of almost three points in active trading so far, and an average share of common stock has gained a nickel in value in trading so far today. Cindy's going to put together a pocket bread sandwich. That's not a sandwich you keep in your pocket. It's a special kind of bread. All right. We'll talk about it in a moment. Which furniture invites you to an out-of-this-world 3001 sale? Special prices and over 3,000 items, from early American to space age. Individual items or whole room settings at phase down prices. Zoom into Wix Furniture 3001 sale and save with a Wix promise of satisfaction. Hurry or you'll miss one of the biggest furniture sales under the sun. The Wix Furniture 3001 sale this Wednesday only. Oh, hey, little lady. Ever taste Cheetos brand cheese flavored snacks? Bet they taste like magic jumping beans in your mouth. No, it tastes like cheese. Yeah, well, doesn't your first bite of Cheetos taste like crunchy bursts of orange firecrackers? Actually, it tastes like cheddar cheese. Well, how about golden butterfly shooting stars? Cheese. Yeah. When a snack has real cheddar cheese in it, why should you have to say more about it? There's only one word for Cheetos. Cheese. Would you say they taste like real cheddar cheese? Yes. Oh, I get it. <laughs> For flowering annuals, for vegetable plants, it's Frank's. Add a splash of color with Frank's giant selection of annuals. And how about vegetables picked right from your own garden? This week, they're featuring tray-grown petunias for a super low 49 cents a tray. And Frank's entire selection of planters is yours at 20% off. Thanks, Frank's. Beautiful things begin at Frank's. Frank's Nursery and Crafts. A lot of people are getting into vegetarian sandwiches, and what a great idea for a picnic, don't you think, mm, Yes, I, I just heard John going over our shopping list here. What, sure. what? Well, we, have, we have cream cheese. Can you identify all of these objects? Good-looking avocados. Pocket bread, I know. I've had good. once or twice, and it's really mm. good. We've got some bean sprouts, uh, and I don't know what that is. Right there. Little lettuce, some red onion, and some red cabbage, and cucumbers. And this is a mixture of sprouts, if you can see this. Uh, it's bean sprouts, and alfalfa sprouts, and all sorts of sprouts all together but it's all very good for you now if you're making these sandwiches for kids you don't tell them about the sprouts because it might turn them off it's too healthy you it's know, too healthy you know I, I think we should perhaps not assume that everybody knows what pocket bread is yes. maybe some folks right. who've never seen it well this is bread you see it it opens up like a pocket you slice a little hole in it. it's almost all crust and you can see the first thing that I've done here is spread a little Philadelphia cream cheese on the bottom of it. Now this is just my own concoction and you boys are welcome to improvise. And I'm going to shove some avocado in there. You know, it's particularly good for sloppy sandwich makers like me because it, it kind of encloses it. It's been, neat. You can't spill it. You've opened it pretty it. wide there, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, maybe a little too wide even. And then, then it's your choice, right? I'm going to put some bean sprouts in here. And also I've put some sesame seeds over the top of these. And a little red onion. And a little alfalfa sprout mix. You notice the, the careful proportions, folks. Just keep track of Really, you it. really measure this all. So far, it smells great. And some cucumber here if it'll let go of the sprouts. You know, See? somebody said, shall we Finished offer this sandwich. Shall we offer this recipe? And somebody else said, Are you kidding? <laughs> Can you offer this as a recipe? Okay, boys, dig in. All right. All right. Okay, each have a... Now, how, how did you, you slice yours? I, oh, you, you know, you know what I usually do? I usually just tear off the top of it a little bit. You see, I'm much neater than you are. Yeah. I <laughs> but, uh, see, I'm a nibbler, so you can nibble on that while yes, you're finishing you the lesson. It's just great, and then you might want to... You've already got cream yeah, cheese on the bottom of yours. Yeah, you cream cheese to this one. Spread a little of that on the bottom as much as you like. You know, the texture of the cream cheese and the avocado together is wonderful, and, of course, avocados are so good this time of year. And like I say... This is not food that you handle with a fork. You get involved with this kind of...
preparation. My goodness, they're doing a close-up on my sloppy preparation. Yeah, you better do a good job there. <laughs> the tension well, is on. Let me slice you I some tell more you, folks, avocado. Be, being a nibbler kind of uh, slows things down a little bit. <laughs> what do we have here? This red, uh, no, uh, these are onions. Yeah, red onion. All right. But once again, you know, add all sorts of things. You can put tomatoes in these, and uh, zucchini is great in them. Anything that you find at the, in the vegetable market of your store, you, know what, you just add. Uh, oh. One nice thing that avocado <laughs> does. Uh -oh. <laughs> One nice thing that avocado does, it kind of lends the consistency of meat and texture, a little bit of meat, uh, if you like that texture, and yet it's, uh, it has some of the other consistencies right. of vegetables, too, so you get a good combination. Okay, let's see. And we see should mention that all this, of course, is roughage, which is great for you as well. And the pocket bread has no additives and no preservatives. And one tip about it, when you're using pocket bread, it's best to keep it frozen until you use it, and it thaws really quickly. When I, 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 I used some of this last year, and when you, when you cook it, there's, it, it doesn't look like there's much in there, but there's a lot of steam and it has a really yes. nice fresh, yeah. fresh feel to it when you, when you bake it. And, and what a sandwich. wonderful texture. And you know, one of the advantages here of pocket bread, too, is the fascination that you have with kids who can just, you know, sure. dig in and, and it's so fill good it for them. <laughs> yeah. You know, what could be better? This is just a terrific, easy idea for a picnic. Who's okay. It? We're each standing here, folks, with a pocket bread sandwich <laughs> waiting to see who's going to be these? first. I'll go first. Okay. Cynthia, uh, Cynthia has the uh, hmm. whole wheat. She can't answer us now. <laughs> You'll notice. Very good. She has the whole wheat pocket bread, and uh, both John and I have the uh, have white pocket bread. I'm going to make up one of these sandwiches right now for your next guest. All right. Because we have to take a commercial break. Okay, Captain Bill will be back to talk about the uh, Jonathan Paddleford and the Josiah Snelling in just a couple of moments. Lots of times my daughter and I like the same things, but for different reasons. <laughs> I come here to relax and... I come here to play. Same goes for her breakfast cereal. We both like a complete breakfast with Kix. But as a mother, what's important to me is that Kix has no artificial flavoring and no artificial coloring. All I really care about is the taste. And Kix has great taste. Guess you could say she likes Kix for what it does have. And she likes Kix for what it doesn't have. <laughs> Jensen Cotton Coolers, I'm guaranteed a great time. Jensen Cotton Coolers, now at your Lancer store. What do you want in a night out? Good food, great entertainment, reasonable prices? Well, we've filled your needs with Cabaret, the new backdoor dinner review. Our menu features succulent steaks and seafood, with dinners and dancing from 6 p.m. for the early diner. The Camelot Singers stage the best shows on the strip, and we've wrapped it all up in one reasonable package. We're Cabaret, the all-new backdoor dinner review behind the Camelot at Highway 100 and 494 in Bloomington. There they are, Bill. They're just working on that. <laughs> Sandwiches, making it a work of art, see? Just a touch of this and a touch of that. I almost didn't recognize uh, Captain Bill when he walked into the studio without his captain's hat on. You know, I guess most of the times we've been together, you've been wearing the captain's yeah. hat either aboard uh, one of the boats or not. Uh, the river has really become a special love of your, yours, hasn't it? You might say that every time I go over a bridge, I look down and I say, that's my river. <laughs> <laughs> the Mississippi is uh, just so loaded with history, not only in this area, but all through the central portion of the United States. But being so close to the place it began, we kind of have a, a special, I guess, jump on many of the people. Well, I would imagine all through the uh, length of the Mississippi River, each segment has, has its own history. Has but a we're particularly really, proprietary feeling about it. Right, too, huh? right. But in this particular area, we really are loaded with it. Of course, with Fort Snelling and whatnot. Now, your two, do I call them boats or ships? Boats. Okay, your two boats uh, are new boats, but they are in the style of what plied the rivers when Minneapolis and St. Paul were established. Right, particularly the Jonathan Paddleford because it has an, uh, an authentic paddle wheel that uh, propels it, and uh, we're looking at it right there. It's a stern wheeler. Stern wheeler. Uh, and it, uh, you get all the uh, complete sensation that you would on a steamboat, even the sound. Mm -hmm. There's a the beautiful interior cabin with 
all the historic paintings that are hanging on a wall? You know, I, I've enjoyed uh, traveling down at, or up the river, usually, often, to Fort Snelling because that's such a historical area, uh, with you, with you pointing out things and uh, telling us about it uh, along the way. I, I'm sure that that fascination just uh, almost drives you after a while, doesn't it? It really does, and you never, never really lose the interest. Uh uh, in the river and it has so much to offer. It's uh, like sitting in front of a fire and watching the flickering flames. <laughs> the, the Jonathan Paddleford has been on the river how many years now? Well, let's see, we're going into our ninth year, if you can believe it. Is that right? And then you added the Josiah Snelling. Yeah. 19, a little different? 1972. Actually, the interior of the Snelling is identical to the Paddleford, mm -hmm. but it's larger. They operate every day of the week? Every day of the week. Uh, actually, uh, starting uh, after Memorial Day, we'll be operating 10, 12, 2, and 4 every day. Mm -hmm. And then we have evening charters and some other trips. I know one of the things that you were concerned about at one time is that you couldn't make arrangements for groups unless they could take the whole ship. And uh, that would take a rather sizable group. But now you've made a special arrangement whereby smaller groups can kind of pool their, their groups and... and uh, we finally found a solution and uh, we have so many people wanting anywhere from 10 to 30 to 40 people uh, but our minimum is 100 on a charter so we've have a certain nights uh, we're going to start this year on Sunday and Tuesday uh, having a prime rib night with a dance band and those are open to reservations on smaller groups and then also on Saturday night we're going to have the Barbary Coast every single Saturday night and that's the finest band in the Twin City with the Mississippi type river when uh, I, can, I can just hear folks at home who haven't seen the boats before say a hundred people, a dance band, it's all there, just just as it used to be, and it goes up and down the Mississippi. Uh, remember, the, the big groups are still welcome, of course, the smaller Absolutely. groups right. or single individuals. Right. Any way you want to do it. Right. And take that history. Program for everybody. <laughs> okay. Bill, good to have you with us again. Nice to see you again, Bill. And uh, congratulations on a new season that with this weather promises to be a really big one for you. And it looks good. Captain Bill Bowl of the Jonathan Paddle Paddleford and the Josiah Snelling, uh, just headquartered in downtown St. Paul, right on Harry Island. There, right. We'll be back in a moment. Don't go away. Sam, have you bottled your special barbecue sauce? You'd make a fortune. Good idea, Mrs. Blake. It's not my special sauce. It's open pit barbecue sauce. My chicken's a big number here, smothered with open pit for big barbecue flavor. And with burgers and fries, I serve open pit instead of ketchup. My specialty, thick baked beans laced with open pit. Sam, give me your recipe. Sure will. Open pit, it does your cooking proud. You deserve a second look. You've got it at the optical department at Sears. Get an exciting second pair of fashion frames at prices you can afford. Get fashion frames that will kill him in the evening or shake him up on the job. Get a pair for that outdoorsy look and one for that cozy nook. You deserve a second look. Choose from a wide selection of fashion frames from the great name and eyewear. The optical department at Sears. Rod Carew is expected to get his 2,000th hit this season. If you can guess the date of that big hit, you may be the winner of a trip for two to the 1979 Twin Spring Training in Orlando via Eastern Airlines, the official airlines of Walt Disney World, with accommodations at the luxurious Dutch Inn. Send your entry in a postcard along with your name, address, and phone number to 2000 Contest, WCCO-TV 55402. In case of a tie, winner will be determined by a drawing. Contest closes June 1st. And now getting away from the vegetarian food, here is Merrill Ellis, our butcher. You know, it used to be uh, back in the days when Grandma was a girl. Uh, I say that a lot because those were, those were fun old days. Uh, but back those days, uh, you could tell a lot about a chicken or a duck or a goose or whatever by the plumage. Uh, Grandma was convinced that, that a young red rooster with yellow feet was the best eaten in the world. So, you know, that's the one you went out and, and grabbed on Sunday morning, about 8 o'clock, to start off Sunday dinner. Uh, unfortunately, there's not a whole lot of plumage left on most of the poultry that we buy. Uh, at best, at best, there's a little tag on the wing. And often, uh, in some markets, they don't they even take that off. The USDA uh, 
demands that it be there, but, but butchers kind of take the, the tag off because they want you to think that their turkey and their chicken is the best, not the brand name that, that you read on the label. So often you don't see the tag, but you should really make sure that it's there and you should, you should look for it because there's, that's the only plumage you've got left. That's the only thing you can, to, you can go by. There's a lot of information if you learn to read those tags on the wings or on frozen birds, the labeling that the USDA uh, makes mandatory. It has to be there, uh, or it should be there, and, and it's for your protection. A uh, couple, three things that are on those tags. The first thing you need to look for is the round shield of inspection. Now, that's not just chickens. That's on every piece of poultry uh, that, is, that is offered for sale in, in the country. Uh, the United States Department of Agriculture inspects every chicken, every duck, every goose, every turkey, uh, both before and after it is processed to make sure that it's wholesome, that it's, it's in good shape, that it's fit for human consumption and the quality, but that has nothing to do with quality, it's just wholesomeness. Uh, so make sure it's inspected. Now, if it is inspected, sometimes it'll also be graded. It has to be inspected before it can be graded for quality. Here's the quality grade, there are three, uh, A, B, and C. Grade A is usually the only one you'll, that you'll see on a bird because unlike the inspection seal, which is mandatory, has to be there, the grading is voluntary. So uh, anybody that's, that's processing birds that, that are uh, grade B and C, they don't tell you about it. They just, so if it isn't, in, if it isn't there, you can, you can just make your own assumptions. Now, if, uh, if these two things uh, are, are done, it's inspected and it's graded, then you will usually see them on the same little tag on the wing. And also you'll see on the, on the wing, and probably the most important uh, little bit of information on, on, uh, on most poultry wings, is the point of origin. Uh, uh, this is not necessarily true with frozen birds because freezing kind of uh, makes transportation better. But a fresh chicken, if you live in California, a fresh chicken from California has got to be two or three days fresher than a fresh chicken that came from Arkansas. Now, this, the, just the opposite would be true if you live in Arkansas, obviously. So pay attention to those little tags on the wings. Uh, the point of origin is one of the most important. There are all kinds of little bits and pieces of information that you can learn if you begin to read labels and, and read tags and check the plumage. Uh, red feathers and yellow feet or whatever. Join us next time, won't you? And here are the postcards that some folks sent in to Merle who won't get the information because, as we said, you have to have a stamp self-addressed envelope. Postcards won't do. Remember, stamp self-addressed envelope. These go to the dead letter office. Okay, some community events. St. Thomas More will be the subject of a lecture sponsored by the St. Thomas More Chapter of Catholics United for the Faith tonight, 8 p.m., in the Church of St. Agnes in St. Paul. And the Ozone Dance Company will present Spring Air Concerts May 19th through 21st and 26th through 20th. The Ozone Studios in Minneapolis. For further information, call 338-1101. There are still class openings for the American Red Cross Aquatic School to be held June 7th through the 17th. Call 871-7676 for more information. And the Anoka Lioness Club is sponsoring a special performance of the Minnesota Theater Institute of the Deaf in the Crucible, May 18th, 7 p.m., Fred Moore Jr. High in Anoka. Tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to be talking about the St. Paul Urban League and a very special walkathon, jogathon to help raise money for the Patty Berg Development Fund at the University of Minnesota. We're also going to talk about senior citizens going back to college in a program called Elder Hostel. Be with us tomorrow. Here comes as the world turns. clinic. If you have a weight problem, give us a call. We'll have you saying thank you, Weight Loss Clinic. Weight Loss Clinic. Join us next time. We've got all kinds of information. About